340.10, definition of terms. The following definitions apply to this article. When you see the word information, it also includes a simplified information, a prosecutor's information, and a misdemeanor complaint upon which defendant, by a waiver executed pursuant to sub 3 of 170.65, has consent to be prosecuted. Two, single judge trial means a trial in an LCC conducted by one judge sitting without a jury. Three, jury trial means a trial in a local criminal court conducted by a judge sitting with a jury. Um, 340.20, the plea. Now, generally, the same way that a plea is done in an indictment, it applies to a local criminal court. Two, a plea to an information other than one against a corporation must be entered in the following manner. Orally by the defendant in person, unless the court permits entry thereof by counsel upon the filing of him of a written and subscribed statement by the defendant declaring that he waived his right to plead to the information in person and authorizing his attorney to enter a plea on his behalf as set forth in the authorization. Now, what does that paragraph say nothing about? It says nothing about the district attorney, it says nothing about the people, and it says nothing about a prosecutor. This, this one about the plea in 340.20 is solely between the court, defense counsel, and defendant. Okay? B. If the only offense are traffic infractions, the procedure in the BTL would be controlling. Three. A plea to an information must be entered by counsel against a corporation. Four. When a sentence is agreed upon by prosecutor and defendant as a predicate to entry of a guilty plea, the court or the prosecutor must orally on the record or in a writing file with the court state the sentence agreed upon as a condition of such plea. 340.30, pre-trial discovery and notices of defenses. The provisions of Article 240 concerning pre-trial discovery by a defendant under indictment in a superior court and 250, they all apply. All that stuff, they apply to a local criminal court. 340.40, modes of trial. Except as otherwise provided in this section, a trial of the information in a local criminal court must be a single judge trial. Two, in any local criminal court where a defendant has entered a plea of a not guilty which charges a misdemeanor, must be accorded a jury trial except the New York City, if the authorized term of imprisonment is not more than six months, it must be a single judge trial. The defendant may at any time before the trial waive a jury trial in the manner prescribed in sub 2 of 320.10 and consent to a single judge trial. So basically once the jurors start getting sworn, he can't then waive his right to a jury trial because that's the commencement of the trial. Three, a defendant entitled to a jury trial shall be so entitled even if the information charges like petty offenses and stuff that he would not be entitled to a jury trial. And the court may not order separate trials. Uh, four has been renumbered. Five and six have been deleted. Seven, notwithstanding any other provisional law in any local criminal court, the trial of a person who is an eligible youth within the meaning of the youthful offender procedure and who has not, prior to commencement of trial, been convicted of crime or adjudicated a youthful offender, must be a single judge trial. Okay, so basically you have to know that if it's an eligible youth and they're in a local criminal court, they're a mandatory youthful offender if they've never been convicted of a crime and never been adjudicated a YL. 340.50. This is the section that burn this whole video. 340.50, defendant's presence at trial in a local criminal court. So number one says, except as provided in subdivision two or three, a defendant must be personally present during the trial. So the way that you're going to read that is generally a defendant must be personally present during the trial. Now two and three are obviously going to explain the exceptions to this. And now two says, on motion of a defendant who is represented by counsel, the court may, in the absence of an objection by the people, issue an order dispensing with the requirement that he's personally present at trial. Such an order 
may only be upon the filing of a written and subscribed statement by the defendant declaring that he waives his right to be personally present at the trial and authorizing his attorney to conduct his defense. And three, which is the other exception, says that a defendant... If a defendant conducts himself in a disorderly and disruptive manner, such that the trial cannot be carried on with him in the courtroom, he may be removed from the courtroom if... Now remember this. He has been warned by the court that he will be removed if he continues such conduct. He then continues such conduct and he can be removed after that. He has to be warned. If he doesn't stop, he's going to get kicked out. And if he continues, and um, then he gets kicked out. 